All right. That should be good to go. Let's just take a look at everything here. Oh, come on. Alt tab. There you go. That's a good boy. All right, yeah. Shows that that's up, which is fantastic. Now let's just freaking advertise this bad boy everywhere. Boink. All right, then I'll just advertise in uh, what you might call it, my other usual servers. Here we go. Two seconds, and then we'll be ready to start. There we go. And there. One more for good measure. Where is this? Uh, there we go. Right in here. Boom. Okay. Oh, hello, Brian. I am. I'm just doing a uh, a Hamlet stream since Hamlet uh, got fully released today. All right, now that that's all out of the way, I should be clear to go. I'm gonna be playing as Wheeler, by the way, and doing just a Hamlet world. Cause I kind of, I've kind of grown to like Wheeler a little bit. Uh, let me just double check on my phone that everything is running smoothly as it should be. Bro, I know I'm gonna stream over the THP finale, that's okay. When, when THP finishes, people can come back here. I don't... I don't blame people. THP finale is pretty important. <sighs> it's just, this unfortunately also came out today, and I... I felt like celebrating, so... Uh, yeah. Good to go. Let's just get loaded in. I actually tried playing Wailer not too long ago, but there was um, some pretty annoying bugs with the character, including uh, using the dodge would accidentally put you into god mode, so you couldn't starve or anything. Uh, so yeah, that kind of broke the game. Uh, and then also, one of her like special items, uh, it like you can equip stuff to it, and uh, if you unequip it, for some reason, its extra slot would still be there, and if you click on it, the game would just crash. So I was getting kind of fed up with Wheeler, uh, but they said now that this has been fully launched in the patch notes, they said they fixed both of those specific issues. So I'm quite happy. I'll actually get to play Wheeler for real this time. Saying come back after THP implies people were here before it. That's very true. That's true indeed. <laughs> hey, you never know though. You never know. <laughs> I will eventually get back to watching THP. Like, I just fell so far behind. Ah, dude. Thank you, Funky. Thank you for sticking around. <laughs> I don't worry about what Funky says too much. He speaks the harsh truth. I enjoy myself anyway. That's all that matters here. Don't Starve is fun, and so I'll keep streaming it for as long as I'm having fun playing it, you know? It's only just, you know, maybe ten minutes of setup beforehand. Ooh boy, here we go. Alright, so yeah. I remember how you play Wheeler. You got the invincible dodge, you've got less inventory space, uh, but you move faster because of it. So... Fun for exploration. Bro, Funky, come on, you're not my biggest fan. Everyone knows that Thumis is my biggest fan. He's been here longer than you have. Although, he's not here right now, so maybe he'll lose that title. <laughs> Alright, so... First, I'm just going to try and break this machete, because I hate the starting machete taking up inventory space. Uh, especially when you have less of it. 
as this character. Um, but once I break this, I'll have like a bunch of grass, and then I'll gather as many twigs and other basic materials as I can, and find the pig village ASAP, because I always love just kind of basing around there and whatnot. Plus, it's kind of integral to the Hamlet gameplay, so... You know, doesn't make a lot of sense to avoid it. Ah. Now, I did kind of, like, as with the betas, and even here now, I've just cheated to unlock all the characters. In fact, I do that with um, Don't Starve in general. I've always just unlocked the characters through the uh, command console. But I also have Don't Starve on the Switch, and that's kind of where I do the legit unlocks. And in fact, I've unlocked every character on the Switch, except for... Um, Woodlegs, and to be fair, I tried unlocking him for a good solid while, and I got so angry, I ended up breaking one of my controllers, so, uh, needless to say, it'll be a while before I return to trying to unlock him. I, I got very close to doing it, I know I can do it, it's just also like, I don't really like Woodlegs anyway, so it's almost as if the reward is not worth the hassle. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, on Switch you can't even use the command console, so of course I unlock everyone legit there. Here it's just more about getting to the characters right away, even though there is an argument to be said that unlocking the characters is just as fun as playing them, you know? Like an integral part of the experience. But I don't I don't care too much, so. Alright, let's go ahead and open up our map here. I'm not thinking the pig village is this way. Probably actually down more, so I'm gonna see if I can like slide my way through this forest here. The dodge is um, nice for, of course, dodging enemy attacks and whatnot, but also it's just kind of like good to use every once in a while to move faster. On top of just Wheeler's increased base movement speed. Oh, hey, look, Pig Village is right here. That's nice. I'm already fantastic. Plus, I hear since the last time I played this, at least, they added a couple of uh, different types of pig houses now, like a couple of new shops. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll get back up to the that centipede oink I did with that one, um, uh, that one plant boy stream. I forget what his name is now. Uh, Wormwood. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Wormwood. Wow, uh, this pig village is kind of close to, like, the normal biome. Normally there's a bunch of trees in the way and such. Um, let's go ahead and get a nice outline of the area first. I kind of like doing that with my Don't Starve Worlds. Kind of running around the edge of the map just to get an outline of it, but... Obviously I won't do that everywhere. But right here, just for this village, I want to get a good look how big it is. Hmm... Already some of the townhouses look maybe a little different. Like, I think those are some new colors. I don't know for sure, though. Uh, could just be my imagination. Oh, snap. Is that, like, a separate island? Or is that, uh, does that connect around here eventually? No, I think that's a separate island. All right. <sighs> if only War Talks were in this game, I could just soul hop right on across, but no. <laughs> I'll have to just go through the ruins the normal way, I guess. It's kind of weird how Wheeler and War Talks both share like this right-click ability that makes them temporarily invincible. War Talks is a lot better, but I guess they can kind of get away with that, because don't starve together, um... Like, you know... Hopping long distances doesn't totally break Don't Starve Together, whereas uh, in Don't Starve, it could with like Hamlet and even Shipwrecked, maybe. So, alright, there's food here that I can steal. Uh, I kind of don't want to steal with literally how concentrated these pigs are. Like, I'll get one angry and then they'll all start to attack me, so no thank you. Um... I do want to make an axe and get some logs here for the night, but uh, I kind of want to make a pickaxe first, so I can get more flint that way. 
Ooh, okay. Here's some berry bushes. I'll have to keep those in mind, because if, if I just dig these up, I can replant them elsewhere and they won't count uh, for that guard. So then I just have to kill them once and then uh, the berries are permanently mine and they're a great source of money, so. Uh, charcoal this way. Here's some food. Might as well pick some of this up. Because, uh, no way I'm going to be, be able to afford the good stuff in town. Not yet. Oh snap, a gold. Alright, that's actually really good. Oh. Of course, impatient me doesn't wait to actually pick the sticks. I just go, go, go. Alright. That should be enough food for tonight. Two of each. Um, no, that's another slug. See, I want a pickaxe. Is the, the deal here. So that way I can find a cave cleft and get more, uh, flint and make my other tools that way. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like that might, uh, that's gonna happen. So I might just have to chill with this glow fly for tonight. Also, I like, uh, I like Wheeler's voice, actually. I, I quite like the piano. I think that's what it is anyway. I assume so. Alright, let's go ahead and eat this. There we go. Look at that. Oh snap. Didn't mean to pick extra twigs. I'm sure I can find some more of those uh, rocks to turn over and get some flint in, uh, in some snappy time. Like right here. Boom! See? Easy. Uh, now, as far as I remember for seasonal preparations and stuff, there's only three seasons, and each of them kind of only requires one item to get through, and without said one item, each season is kind of hell. So, but they're not too hard to get, typically. I wouldn't, I don't think so, anyway, because I remember they weren't that bad. Let's kind of just try and follow the world's edge, like I said before. Just so I can get a bit more of a, an outline here. Alright, charcoal, that's going to be useful for a crock pot later, so I'll pick that up now. Oh, here we go, more flint. Now I can just make an axe outright. And more charcoal. I could mine some iron right now. And I'm tempted to. I'm very tempted, but I don't think I want to take up even more inventory space. In fact... Why do I not just have the Navi Gadget do this? Look at that. Oh, or I could just put in a flint, right? The Navi Gadget's still a little weird when you just turn around. It's, it kind of has a seizure. So. But yeah. Let's let's go ahead and put the Navi Gadget and the Pumatic Horn here. And for the Navi Gadget, I'll just keep my gold in there. So that way that frees up an inventory slot. Then, I'll go ahead and mine some iron. Ooh, is that new music? Oh no, I recognize this. Ha ha ha! You'll never catch me, I can dodge! Alright, go ahead and store my iron into the pneumatic horn here. Hmm, nah, nothing in there. Eating those guys aren't good for you, so... Or not good for your sanity, at least. Alright. More rocks, that's nice. I do kinda need more basic materials before I go back and consider, like, making a base. Cause I know I can make an axe now and get some of that, uh, wood that I need, but... I just don't have enough other stuff to feel confident. Like, I'm gonna need stones to make a crock pot and whatnot. Run into the tree. Thank you, moron. Thank you. I actually forgot that you can get uh, rocks and flint from poop, so that's very nice. Ah, oh boy. Alright. Not too far out here. I don't want to have to walk for ages just to get back to the village, but 
I do kind of want to find a cave cleft so that way I can maybe get just a little bit more gold because I think that's the best uh, place for finding gold. I know my navi gadget's pointing me to some right now, but it might be like the kind that you need to chisel out. Oh, also gold nugget here now, huh? Which means I might as well just put my pickaxe in my navi gadget. That'll probably be the uh, most inventory conserving uh, loadout possible. Because you can't put an entire stack into the navi gadget. You can only put one singular item, unlike the pumatic horn. Uh, I guess I should kind of explain. Um, the pumatic horn, it just takes ammo, and then you can shoot it. And uh, when you shoot it... Oh, thank you for the fish, I guess. And when you shoot it, it just shoots out that ammo as like a projectile, and it can kill things and do damage, and it's nice. While the Navi Gadget will point you to the nearest collectible of whatever you have in it, which for some reason there is a pickaxe somewhere on the ground collectible for me. Uh, it'll even, like, for example, if I were to put berries in my Navi Gadget, it would even point me to, like, harvestable, harvestable berry bushes. It doesn't have to be literally the berry item on the ground, you know? Because that'd be a little silly. It'd make it a little too useless. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop that bad boy out of here. I want to get myself some more iron. Jesus. No, oh, no, I've actually pressed the dodge. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks, game. Jeez Louise. And I forgot, this character only has a max HP of 100. So, uh, yeah, things like that hurt a lot more. Cool. Although, I guess, in that regard, it's a lot easier to get yourself back up to full HP whenever you do take damage. Hmm. I don't want to stray too far, like I said before, but I also still haven't found a lot of gold. I found more than I was expecting without, you know, finding a cave cleft yet, but I still kind of want more. Gosh. I almost kind of feel like the dodge should just, like, have some sort of cost to it. Like, maybe it costs you, like, a hunger every time you dodge. So, whenever you dodge... Like, so, just basically so you don't do what I'm doing right now and just spam it to move slightly faster. Or even in combat, it makes you consider um, when you want to dodge. I know that they already have it on a cooldown, which is really uh, nice, because then you can't obviously just spam it and be invincible forever. But I don't know. It still feels a little too free. Then again, maybe it needs to be this free just for this character to be good, you know? And we'll go ahead and put that there. Hello, owl thing. Excuse me. I wonder, should I? Oh my goodness, that is incredibly effective. Wow. That's actually kind of shocking. <laughs> now, I know I wasted two iron doing that, but... Come on now, that was cool. Uh, how much damage you do with this thing does depend on what's loaded into it. And the general rule of thumb you have to follow is, the harder the object seems to be, the more damage it will likely do. So like iron ore being a very hard rock does a lot of damage. Can I shoot a fish at it? Okay, I'm gonna shoot a fish at it because I don't want to really hold this fish anymore. Never mind. That one's being protected by a gnat swarm, so there's not even any point in shooting it. Whatever. Alright, put that in there. Get this navy gadget back out. Ooh, hi, hi. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Buster Brown. Um. Uh oh. Alright. Let's burn a tree or something. Light. Alright, this serves me no good. Yeah, it's not finding anything. Go figure. 
Now this should give me logs. Um. Jesus, no, come on, snake. The last thing I want is to have to put up with you. Real cool snake. Nope. No, no, no. Not gonna let that happen. Not today, Buster Jr. Alright, let's go ahead. Ooh, jeez Louise. Let's go ahead and actually shoot charcoal at this guy, because charcoal is way easier to get than iron. And it's just as an effective killer. Look at that. Now that is science. Wait, can I put my pumatic horn in there? <laughs> you can just kind of carry one item and the other item. Does that mean I could launch my navi gadget? Oh no, you would lose it forever if you did that. Oh snap. I think that's definitely a new work tune. Or maybe not. Again, I'm sorry, I'm doubting myself. Alright, let's cook these. Just get that out of my inventory. Alright. Inventory management time. Let's just move things around slightly. Uh, yeah, gold, then rocks, then flint, then iron ore, then we can have our tools, which go all here and there. Boom, perfect. Nice. And look at that, I even broke my pickaxe in an efficient way. I'm very happy. Uh, come on, Gummy Slug, is that really the best you got for me? I think I remember hearing once that Gummy Slug is actually a great, um, crockpot ingredient. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one, so... For now, that's, that's not gonna happen with me. Alright, put that in there. Oh, I do have seven flint now. I wonder where I got all this from. Alright, uh... Since there's iron up here, I don't think I really need to... Uh, let's go ahead and shoot this boy. I didn't mean to shoot that thing. There we go, look at that! Let's loot galore, man! I'll leave this morsel on the ground, I don't think I really care for that. And I do remember these thunder feathers, like, lets you make, like, a hat that channels lightning or something like that. That sounds pretty nice, so. Oh, no. Nope. 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 No, 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 Yes. Okay. Shoot. And then, guess iron ore is our next ingredient, so. Okay. Let's try to stick to the- oh, peculiar. Too bad I don't have a magnifying glass. Or if I was Wagstaff, I could just use my goggles. Oh good, this does stack up that high. I thought this stacked only up to 20 for some reason. But only... 20 was the max for iron ore. Alright. Make sure to avoid the gnat things. Those guys are just obnoxious. Once they get on you, it feels impossible to get rid of them. Uh, if I need the Snyder and stuff, I can come back here. But I know for sure I'm gonna need, like, iron ore right away, so... I'm picking all this up right now. Okay. 
Boom. Boom. There we go. Fantastic. Plus, I think there's actually a pig that'll buy feathers off of you, so... This is like a win-win. Honestly, I didn't ever really think about um, Wheeler for hunting ability. I just kind of thought of her for... Um, purely based on her lesser inventory and faster movement speed with this invincible dodge. I, I never really thought about her hunting abilities and her finding ability with the Navi gadget, you know? Hmm. Alright, maybe I will turn back towards uh, base camp because uh, I'd like I said, I don't want to go too far away, but also... I mean, come on. We gotta get some charcoal. Jesus Christ, okay. Um... Go ahead and light that. I like that. Put that on fire. Ooh, that, that seems good too. Let's light that one on fire there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that too. That, that needs to be lit on fire. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's smooth. Oh god, the peacock is way faster than I remember. Nope. Come on! Come here, you stupid! Alright. Whatever. I know I'll need the, the feathers at some point, but I guess not right now. Wonder if any pigs take meat. At least the meat I have. If so, I might just give it to them. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and follow up my uh, trail of just charcoal here. All right. Just know that I kind of want to end on a multiple of five because that's how um cutting trees work nope nope thank you okay i thought that guy was just about to kill me and i was not interested should i pumatic corn these guys probably could oh no i didn't get enough wood for this huh well no. oh yeah i probably need to pop that out first Jesus Christ, dude. I don't like lighting these trees on fire because things come out of them. <laughs> oh, good. I lit this whole entire meadow on fire then. Fire seems to spread weirdly in this version. Alright. Jesus Louise, dude. Okay. Oh, snap! Get roasted. Okay, nope, come on. I believe. Yeah! Oh, snap. Oh, God. Oh, dearie me. Never again shall I get in a fight. Like that. Um, no. I mean to equip... What, 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 what? Put the iron ore in there, you dingus. Now put the drumstick... No. You can only have one thing in here. That's right. Put your pumatic corn in. There you go, buddy. All right, now get to chopping this charcoal while also avoiding all enemies, because yikes, 22 HP. Hmm, I need to go back and just get a bunch of those butterflies from the, the normal flowers. Because it's too bad exotic flowers don't give you butterflies for some reason.
If this isn't new, this sounds at least altered. This music, that is. Um, I might want this, is the thing. Hmm. Drumsticks, I don't need you. Alright, fine, I'll just smack. There you go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is the full grown variant. If it is, it should take me down to like. Oh dear lord, why? Why are there two snakes in there? Hmm. I still can't quite tell if that was full grown or not. Oh yeah, that is. I can tell now just by looking at all those different trees. Oh, five minutes until uh, the THP finale goes live. That's exciting, right? Uh, let's go in the cave cleft. <laughs> There we go, that's some more gold. We're under my belt. Oh shoot, yeah. I need to be extra careful. Is my girl kind of vulnerable to death right now? No! Stop! Leave me alone, frog! Trust me, you don't want any of this. Oh my god, dude. These things are everywhere. Like, what the heck? Oh my god, okay. No. Bad. Holy crap, dude. Oh god, something was on my arm. Okay. Let's just chop down two medium sized trees and then that'll be my axe broke. Mm, oh, poor dung beetle. Oh, okay, they ate that egg. No, no, why'd you dodge that way, Wheeler? Oh, boy. Alright, alright, alright. Pick up the wood and get out of here. Ooh, wait, although I want to see if... Uh... Oh, no. Ooh, Jesus, no. Enter door! Oh, my dear lord. thought you could press, um... Interact on the keyboard, but no, you can't for that. You very much cannot. Is that a snake or is that snake skin? That is snake skin, not a snake. Good to know. All right, uh, that way I know is a dead end. So let's just head back to the village. Uh, very soon here. Sunken object. Never heard of those. Is that something you can fish out? And if so, how long has that been a thing? Did that just get added? Or am I dumb? Oh my god, please leave me alone, Mr. Frog. I didn't mean to bother anybody. Oh dude, why didn't I just have my Navi gadget equipped? There you go. Now I've got one free inventory slot. Nope, didn't mean to fill it with grass. Alright, go ahead and pick this asparagus. Alright, uh... Let's just head straight to the village. I do have a lot of charcoal, um, surprisingly, after using all of it at one point as ammo. That's another thing, if I get hungry here, I can just, um, shoot away at birds, I guess. I don't really have to, uh, you know, find plant food. 
Wow, dang. Pig Village was really just right here, huh? Oh, yeah. It most certainly was. Um, again, wish I could steal from you guys, but I can't, so... Uh... Alright, Pig Village, this way. Let's just chill over here for the night. I've got 14 wood on me. I wonder when that happened. Also, it looks different than uh, before. It used to be like a different uh, sprite, I think. I like this one more, I think, though. This one looks um, more normal, I guess. There's the slanty shanty. Um, if that's the slanty shanty, let's go ahead and just pop down my, my bad boy science machine right here. Oh, good. These guys. Alright. Well, if these guys are coming in now, might as well get prepped for war. Alright, so... Oh! Don't... Oh... Okay, they seem to, um, tune down that first attack quite a bit, which I like. Mm. There we go, that's much better. Thank you, Pumaticorn. Kinda wanted to get my iron out, so. Alpine hammer. That thing is good. That thing's real nice. That shears, also good. Uh... Cut stone. I know I need a couple of you for crock pot, right? Well, I made too many, but that's okay. Because I know I need at least two electrical doodads for the alchemy engine. Alright. What do you think he'll eat? You think he'll eat this if I just leave that there? Um, doesn't seem like it. Okay, good. If you eat the venom glands, I'm not going to get too upset at you. I'm going to get a little upset. But I guess not furious, so... Alright. Axe, shovel, ball peen hammer, shears... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Then, what's next? What do I still need, huh? Uh, oh yeah, I'm trying to make an alchemy engine, which means I need more cut stone and I need more boards. So, let's go do that. Also, let's see if we can stop at the flower places and get some butterflies. Um, these trees are actually quite nice, because their seeds provide a good food source. Um, so I like them a lot. Except for the freaking squirrels that live inside of them. Those guys are annoying. Also, Axe, thank you. Chill up here. Please, leave me alone. You actual mongrels. I guess it's not that big of a deal, though. As long as they don't take the logs, because that's what I need the most. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna try and only chop down the fully grown ones. Yeah, like, right here. Get the most bang for your buck this way. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, plant these bad boys right in the ground. Hello, Mr. Farmer Man. No butterflies? Seriously? Come on, you've got flowers for a reason, man. Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, and of course, it had to save right now. 
There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll keep my eye out for butterflies, but in the meantime, I gotta get to some chopping. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Oh, and here's one right over here as well. Very nice, very nice. Gotta be very careful not to pick the um, flowers here. Otherwise, you'll get everyone angry. Should I focus on getting some money? Uh, I kind of want to keep... Like, farmers, I don't think they can give me much anyway. I'll focus mostly on hedges and uh, berries for my source of income. Plus, I'm kind of low on twigs and cut grass and all that jazz, so... <sighs> Poor old Warbucks, though, am I right? Like... Oh, dear lord! Why can I find a hell spawn in those rocks? God, I hate those things so much. They make, um... I think it's humid season a nightmare. Or... I think it's humid season anyway. If it's not, it's the other one. Which I can't remember the name of for some reason, so that's... Cool. Alright. Come on, butterflies. Uh, ooh, I... Don't know if I was going to punch the guard or a butterfly. And look, all the way back up to full HP already. And full hunger. That's the power of butterflies, man. Uh, I know I need more rocks, so... <sighs> Let's just... Look for some? Besides in there, because again, I don't really want to get on these guys' bad side. Even though killing them isn't that hard. I just don't feel like putting up with it, especially with how concentrated these guys are, instead of um, being all spread out like normal. Yeah, thanks for the grass. Oh, more. Okay, I guess. Uh, oh, there's another temple entrance right here. Is this one a special one, or is it just default? It's just default. Okay, let's see. Not interested. Ah! What the heck? Okay. Not interested here either. Not particularly interested anywhere right now. Oh! Okay. Enter Mantel. God, those guys creep me out. Uh, stop making noises, please. Oh no, if I had a hammer, this is pigskin central right here. Maybe I'll find a rock. Oh, these vines do not make life fun. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Please, if you're a rock, I will love you. That's not a rock! <laughs> I need a rock. Jeez, I'm not gonna stick around and see who's the winner of that fight. Rock! Gummy slug? Gummy slug. No. I said rock. Um, I think maybe if I break this I can get a rock? Yes! Thank you so much. All right. Then we'll place it like that. There we go. Please. No, 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 no. Stop. Why couldn't I place a campfire in the jungle? Is that something you just can't do now? No, nope. I guess I don't really have much of a choice except for stick around to see who's the winner. Also, you just ate all my pigskin from that hammering, didn't you? Oh, that's cool. Although, if I kill you early, I might be able to dry some, uh, some meats for me early. 
That would actually be fantastic. Or dry, not meat, but dry his stock for a, um, a stocking cane, you know, the, the walking cane equivalent in this world. Alright, cool, just take those twigs. I didn't want them, I guess. Alright. Oh! Ow. Good thing these guys are pretty simple to kite. I know I could use my dodge ability, probably, but I don't... Yeah, I pretty much figured that's exactly what would happen if I tried to use my dodge ability. Where'd my log suit go? There it is. Okay. Oh! Interesting. Yeah, I'll keep that in there, because there's no way I'm going to get another one of those, so. Um, actually, I don't really want this. I'll eat these. Alright, there we go. Much better. Oh, well, I wonder what's in the pumatic corn. Nothing, huh? I'll use that for storage of my iron. But... <laughs> ah, stupid vine. All right. I think that's all I'm going to get from there, so might as well head back. Honestly, yeah, let's just keep the Pumatic Horn in the Navi Gadget. Then I can just be very efficient at all times with my inventory management. Uh, let's see. So normally we got gold here, then rocks. Oh yeah, I don't have anything on me actually still. I didn't come back with anything that I needed. In fact, I came back almost with less of what I needed. I don't see anything of mine eaten, so that concerns me. Pay me! I appreciate your your monies, sir. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> no need to bow your hat to me. Okay. One, two... Drying rack. Alright, let's just get this placed already. Where will we place it, you might ask? Well, nothing can randomly catch on fire in this world, so let's just go ahead and place it, like, right here. There we go. And boom! Stocking stick. Or stocking cane, or stocking whatever you may want to call it. I'll put my navy gadget there. Much better. I think that looks nicer for the inventory management. And we'll keep the electrical doodads here, because I don't see why I should be wasting my inventory space holding on to those. Pigskin's actually kind of useful, same with flint. Uh, the shears, I don't really need to keep on me, so let's leave those here as well. There we go. I'm pretty sure this character gets faster with each empty inventory slot as well, so that's... Uh, something else you gotta keep in mind when playing, uh, Wheeler. If you wanna go fast, you're gonna have to, um, you know, manage your inventory wisely. <sighs> I hate to do this. But sometimes you just gotta. Oh, and this is why I didn't wanna steal. Granted, I can still kind of run them in circles. Ah. Aha. Idiot. Oh, frick. 
come on, men. Can't we just be civil about this? I know I'm stealing, but can't you see? I'm poor, I'm needy. Without this, I won't be able to feed my family. Come on. Alright, uh... Great! Smashing success. Now I think we've got all the materials necessary to build my thing. We just need to uh, go back to the science machine. Alright, refine some boards. Re refine two more cut stone. Pick up my two electrical doodads. Bam! Alchemy engine. Done. Easy. Okay, now what do we do? Do we wait till we buy the slanty shanty? I think so. I think that is the next best idea. Then we'll put the alchemy engine inside the slanty shanty, uh, along with other such things. I hope this doesn't cost all ten. Yeah, I mean, I wanted it to, but like perfectly, you know? Okay. Hmm. So now, uh, the next step to integrating into pig society is, uh, God, why can't I think? My brain is dead. Um, is to get money. Yes, I need money now. So let's run around with my shears and see what I can snip. All right. Doesn't look to be much in this general region. I'll kind of like run long ways down first and then uh, then take some branching paths. There's the the town hall where I'll need to buy uh, my deed. I think it's 50 oinks, is it? So yeah, I gotta get gotta get moving on that, you know. Chop chop. Haha, <laughs> pork chop. Get it? Because they're pigs. Hmm. Alright. Uh, there we go. I was worried that there weren't going to be any hedges to clip, but here they are. Now, you can also eat these, I think. So that's something, but I don't really care about eating them. Uh, I care more about the money I get from clipping them. At the very least, these pigs are kind enough to keep their lights on for you. Unlike the normal pigs. Jeez Louise, those guys. I mean, I'm telling you. I should play as Wilba for a stream, because I don't think I have yet. And Wilba's actually quite fun to play as. Like, more than I thought she would. Hello, pig guard. Oh, right. Bushes are in the way there, huh? Thank you. I wonder if they changed it where you can no longer give as many he uh, clippings as you want to Clipping Lady. I wonder if they limited you on your amount of clippings again. Or, not again, but, like, I wonder if they limited you now. Or if they just let you. What did you eat? Were those seeds? I hope so, because, like... Come on, man. Don't eat my food on the ground there. Alright. That's all I seem to be able to get for now, so let's go ahead and drop the shears. Uh, hedge... Hedge lady, she was like right up here, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Also, poop. Money. Easy. Okay, so this must be intended, I guess. And probably the main reason why is the amount of clippings you can get is limited by, uh, you know, the bushes themselves. So while it does seem like a fast and easy way to make money, and it kind of is... At least there's some sort of limit to it. Whereas with berries and stuff, you could obviously somehow, like, abuse the system and then 
make way too much money in one day, and that's why they can only accept one berry per day. Alright. I'll go ahead and trade away some of my Thunder Feathers for money. Anything to get this house ASAP. You like feathers, right? Sellest me feathers. Yeah. Do you take multiple feathers? No. You, you want me to come back on the morrow. Can do. Wonder how those Thunderbirds come back then. You know? Because I killed them, and then I took the iron from their nests. Do they hatch from the iron? Or are they, like, completely different? Do they just fly in on their own? There's no way to permanently get rid of them? Or do they just not come back once you kill them? Once you kill them, that's it. They're dead for good. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Let's make myself a nice lovely axe here. Because I kinda want some materials. You actual jerk. Plus, I'm a little hungry, so I will eat some of the seeds. Might as well just go steal those berry bushes if those guys are still angry at me then. Alright, you actual chipmunk. What are you? What, what, what are you even called? Pico. I don't even know what that is. What's a Pico? Is that just the name? It must be like a creature. Dude, come on. These guys are being really unfair. Now, I did kind of start this stream late, and that's because I've been busy, um, quite all day. I would have started it earlier if I could have. But no matter, we can still get plenty of time in, and if need be, I might honestly consider continuing this tomorrow. If the world is good enough to make me feel like, yeah, I need to continue this right away, then I will. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Go to plant a seed and I accidentally just slide. <laughs> Peculiar. I need to make a magnifying lens, but does, don't those cost, like, blue gems? Like, I guess that's why I haven't made one, then. Plus, I might need, like, an alchemy engine to actually even make it in the first place. Thou wretch. You are a wretch. Come on, man. Fight me in a real combat! Okay, so obviously that's not gonna work. I tried maybe doing some weird dodge stuff. Okay, so you hit, you run back. I remember these guys' kiting pattern. Evidently not good enough, but I still remember it. God, see, that's the problem with me. My brain is so fixated on kiting that I can never really use a uh, Wheeler's dodge that well. There we go. Jesus, man. Alright, now we keep this. And the grass is ours for the taking. Now, if only I had some butterflies. That's another peculiar tea tree. I think they made peculiar objects more common. It certainly feels that way now. Oh, dude, you're kind of isolated, too. You want to fight me? <laughs> now, don't get hit by this torch, because if so, that'll suck. Boy. Oh, okay, at least I didn't get lit on fire. That's the plus. 
Now, you might be wondering, why am I damaging this perfectly good halberd when I had a spear in my backpack? And I just killed the other guy using a spear, why not kill this guy? Well, one, I don't want to waste that much time fighting this thing. Two, he's gonna drop a new halberd, so... Oh my god, dude. Dear lord, that was not supposed to be that bad. Okay, good. Alright. And we now have an emergency... Uh... Well, not even an emergency weapon, just a backup weapon. And grass for days. Yeah, let's just go back and forth to cook all this food and eat it. I do plan on making a ham bat, because I really like ham bats. And since I have the materials on me. Although, yeah, that means I'm going to have to make my alchemy engine. Which means I need to get my house ASAP. Otherwise, this meat is going to spoil. Alright. Oh, yeah, why don't I just do this? Duh. It's much better. There we go. Nice and full. Okay, cool. With a little bit more feather trading and whatnot, I should be good to go. Uh... This guy's gonna be angry at me, right? Yeah, thou coward. Uh-oh, did not mean to pick that. Dude, 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 I'm sorry. I really didn't want to pick the petals. I like having butterflies just as much as you do, man. Save the world and all that stuff, you know. Save the ecosystem, more like. My bad. All right. Hello, feather lady. Honestly... If I can find more Thunderbirds, I can get more Thunder Feathers pretty easily with this Pumatic Horn. So I don't mind trading them all away if I need to, just to get infinite money. Alright, berries. I know I said that I needed to dig up those berry bushes, which is definitely something I should have considered doing, but I also don't really have anywhere good to put them, so... Oh. My bad. Didn't even realize. <sighs> there we go. Where is the nerd pigs? I need to give them my berries. Oh, hello, feather lady. You will do nicely. Instead of a nerd pig. But I do want to know where they are. Like, seriously. What the heck? They're all just these stupid mustache pigs. Come on now. Don't be shy, I just need, like, one more nerd pig, at the very least. You, I already traded with you, right? Yeah, come back on the morrow. Got it, dude. Easy. Did I drop my berries? No, I just unequipped them. Thank you! Ah, oh, perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You really did make my life way easier, so. Ah, and perfect! The stocking stick. Um... I think I'm actually just gonna go, like, this... And there. Honestly? Now... Uh, now that I have the stocking stick, though. Boom, movement speed increased. Especially as Wheeler? Like, this is gonna be ridiculous, dude. 
pay me for picking up your poop. Thank you. All right. I would like deed of home ownership. Thank you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I don't recognize these. House expansion permit and demolition permit. Oh. Oh, house expansion, huh? Ooh, I like that. I like the sound of that. I really like the sound of that. House expansion. Okay, well. I now own this place. It is now my house. I am quite proud to live here. Alright, science... Or, sorry, not science machine. Alchemy engine. Right. Tyra. I don't have enough rocks. Okay. Um... One, two, three. Alright. I do kind of want, like, a chest outside. There, how's that? I like that. Just for storing things that I need to be able to easily get to, but I don't want to keep on me. Like this poop, for example. Uh, actually, you know what? The spear and the other thing can go in here as well. Emergency weapons, nice to have in there. Alright, let's just start getting some organized piles of stuff going on in this house. Uh, meat and such, make me a handbag. And then, let's make a football helmet. Granted, I know that there's, like, fancy helmet and stuff, uh, but that would require a smelter, which requires a red gem, I think. Right? Smelter? I don't even know where smelter is. It's, like, science, right? Smelter, yeah, that requires a red gem. Okay, handbat, we're gonna keep you on me. And then what we're gonna do now is... Let's just equip the handbat, so that way I don't waste it just walking around in here. Um, I don't know how much I actually need the pig skin, to be fair. I kind of just need flint. Gold. That's going to go outside. Deed of home ownership. Alright. Uh, now what do we do? Now what we can do is... Oh yeah, crockpot. Let's put that bad boy. I think I can just squeeze it right in here somewhere. Um... Move the charcoal out of the way and maybe it'll fit. Fit right in. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay. Ah, now what do I want to focus on? Let's focus on getting my actual clothing that I'm going to need. Because I know I need... I see Thunder Hat. That's what you can... I know you need a pith hat, and I know you need a gas mask, so let's get those materials together. Both of them require a cloth, so let's go back to the spawn area with my hammer, because I think you can get a cloth from the crashed blimp. Um, vines, I know how to get those from the, from the freaking man-eating plant things, and then, uh, cork. Okay, let's get a lot of cork while I'm out, so... Uh, until it turns day, though, I guess it should stick in here. Okay. <sighs> Once it turns day, I'm on my way. I like that run. Came up with it myself. <laughs> Alright, away we go. 
What are what are today's objectives? Go back, get cloth from the spawn blimp. Um, also get cork. Also, also don't starve. Um, and get vines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we gotta go to the jungle and see if we can get ourselves some vines. But also, let's get some corks. And as always, if I can run across some gold, I'll make sure to grab that, because gold is always nice. Especially considering that right now I don't even have luxury tools, so... That is kind of one thing that bugs me about Hamlet Worlds, is that there's kind of just a lack of general resources. Um... Which obviously is meant to encourage the more, like, trade currency system in the town, like, now you buy your food, and you buy your tools, and you buy your materials, rather than actually go out and find them, but... I don't know. I've, uh... Always been slightly bothered by, like, how difficult it is for me to get anything that I want. Okay, come on now, Bats. You seriously gotta do this to me? Uh, also, I ran past the blimp, didn't I? Okay, it's over here. Oh, dude, it looks like my dodge is just always faster than my movement speed, which is fantastic, honestly. Hammer. Hammer. Oh, okay, handbat time. There we go. Alright, well... Now I have a pigskin, I guess. There's a razor. Don't know if I want that. Ah, there's the cloth I was looking for. Alright, the rest of this junk will leave here. But the cloth... Definitely what I was looking for. Now I know I need another cloth for the gas mask, but Pith Hat comes first, since that season comes first as well. Um... Alright, let's see then what we can find up out here in our little jungle areas for vines. Why are there so many of these guys? These glowflies, they just keep coming out and out and out. Oh snap. Is this gold or something? Oh, no, wait, 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 I know. If I chisel you, you give me, like, the idol thing. Yeah, the precious fragment, as it's apparently called. Ooh, and that, that pig marking means this takes me to the pig place, I think. So, there we go. Actual pig skin instead of pig skin. I know it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I like, I like seeing actual pig skin. Ooh, thank you. Please don't chisel the gold into the... <sighs> you win some, you lose some. What can I say? Oh. I didn't even realize how low I was on logs. Good thing there's plenty of trees around. Now I'm just gonna try and find some vines and then get out of here. Or should I just get out of here now? Oh dear lord, man. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Come on. There you go, idiot. Now let's just get out of here before my inventory gets too full. I can always come back to the jungle. It's like right next to the pig village anyway. Now, you might say it's a little bit of a waste of inventory space to keep this money on me at all times. And, 
I might agree with you, but I don't care. <laughs> or at least I don't care enough to fix it. Now I know there's a new boss with these things. Jesus, man, I didn't want to get hit by this thing again. But you can like actually bring all these guys together for a new boss fight, and I uh, I think that's pretty cool. Oh my god, I'm so fast with this character. I can at least appreciate that. If nothing else, I can appreciate the speed that this character brings with it. Okay, so. First of all, pig skin and not pig skin. Second, uh, what does it take to craft the pith hat? Right, more vines. While I'm out, get peagock plume if possible. All right. Oinks, I, I can keep these bad boys on you. Uh, these things are going to have to get sold once it turns morning. Corks can stay in here. Just like that. Perfect. And yeah. All right. Actually, if I'm fast enough, I can sell my sell my things. It's right over here. So I think I'll get there before night and then I can just sell these. Winesbury Academy. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. That's an easy 20 oinks right there. Now, let's just put, put the poop right there. Oh, full moon tonight, huh? Let's see. Where would I buy tools? I think that's the place. So I might take a look there with my newfound money and see if I can buy anything good and useful before I head out for the vines. Because if I can buy, like, for example, a lantern, I would love to buy that. Plus, I think that is where you can find cloth. Ah! Oh god! I forgot! These guys turn into nightmarish demons during a full moon. <laughs> well, at least that's a morsel out of the deal, but, uh... Kinda requires fire to cook a morsel, so I'm just gonna... Not... Jeez Louise. Those guys do not sound nice, even in the slightest, so. Don't you laugh at me, mister. Alright, now it's day. Let's go to the tools shop and see what we can find. Pay me for your poop. Ah, cloth. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. Um, none of these are what I'm looking for, although the umbrella might be helpful in the future, so I will purchase that. Just to see if I can get it refreshed for something better, and I didn't. So, goodbye. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the umbrella in here. We'll put the poop in here, and we'll even put my 10 piece oink in there for easy spending. Okay, so now vines, and we want the plumes from the birds. So. Also, I just kind of realized, don't need this bad boy lingering. Look at that. 
<laughs> oh, I am so fast. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I got enough quirks for now. If I need more, I can get more quite easily. Now, let's just look out for vines. And no, not these kind. Although, I think these kind might drop vines. So, honestly, maybe, yeah. I hate these. Okay. these hatch into the horrible demon creatures? Uh, I thought maybe if you killed them you could get light bulbs, but it doesn't seem like that's happening, so we're just gonna leave it. You know what I won't leave, though? This vine. Oh! That was way easier than I thought. Yeah, but they don't seem to be dropping the vines. Yeah, no, if anything, they just drop rope. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get the, um... The actual, like, piranha plant-looking guys. <laughs> I think I hear one right now. Oh, no, wait, that's the, that's the freaking gorilla thing that I hear, right? Oh, that is several of them! Haha, <laughs> I've escaped. Once I leave, I will immediately get raped, but that's okay. <laughs> Come on. You're better than that, pickaxe. No, oh, don't pick the fern. <laughs> Nope. Bug off. Excuse you, sirs. Oh, what a good time to save. Are you Sans? No, I'm not. Uh-oh. Nope, get me out. Blue gem! Oh, thank goodness I swiped that before it got crushed. That's a good find. Now I can make a magnifying glass. Probably have to keep that one on me then, huh? That tool. It is incredibly useful. Alright, nope. Just looking out for those vine guys. Not seeing them. The piranha plant guys. <laughs> Eroding totem. Don't you give me a thing as well? You do. Thank you so much. Oh, that's the poisonous jungle. Don't want to go in there without a gas mask. I think actually last time I played Hamlet like this um, was when I was um, doing my Wormwood playthrough, so I didn't have to worry about the gas mask because that season doesn't affect Wormwood. Well, it does, but not in the same way as it would any other person, so. Also, idle. Thank you. Um, pigskin? I don't know what to do with you. I, I also forget what that is. I think that takes you to the, like, fountain area. That's what I want to say. Okay. Hello, Mantil. That's my best impression. But what is going on? Help. Yeah, honey, honey. Hmm. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Sorry, dude. I'll back away. Don't want to intrude on your space. Oh, perfect! These are the guys I was looking for. Oh, but there's so many of them. Oh, and here's another idol.
Okay, let's drop my totems and idols and such out here. Since I won't be able to carry all of those back, at least they will be in a easier to access location. Wait, how many swings is it for the small guys? Well, maybe the world will never know. Also nice, the small guys can turn into big guys. Well, I mean, sorry, I already knew that. I mean the small guys can drop vines like the big guys. <laughs> Full Moon is also very useful, so I appreciate having it. Oh my god. There we go. Oh dear. Forgot about that. Now they all just kind of want to chill right where those vines are, huh? There we go. Okay, perfect. That's honestly fantastic. Better than I thought I was going to get away with, so... Uh, yeah, the idols are just going to have to sit there, because I don't feel like carrying them back. But hey, I know they're there, so when I have the time and I need the money, that's some easy money right there. <laughs> uh, oh, let's just grab the vines in here, as well as the cloth. Um, let's drop this blue gem. Let's drop the blue gem. Let's stack the pig skin. Alright, pith hat. What do you need? Oh, you just need the cork? Hey, and there we go. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> also, where'd I get all this gold from? <laughs> Let's go ahead and organize some grass here. There we go. Pith hat ready. Now, I do need to get the materials together for the other thing. Uh, which is going to require... Uh, I think... Well, I know it requires the feather, for sure. The peacock plume. But peacocks are kind of annoying to find, so... Might just skip on that for now. <sighs> um, honestly, let's bring those totems back now before I forget. And then while I'm out here, I'll pick the berry bushes, I think. Actually, no. I'll save the berry bushes for later again. I kind of want to do something else first. Right. There we go. Now this will all be easy money. <sighs> okay, get me on a road. There we go. Now we're really zooming. Right down here should be the place to trade these all in. There we go. Last idol. Last idol. Last totem. 
and relic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. And now, we actually have enough to buy a house expansion, which I am very excited because I've never uh, seen that before. That's new to me. <laughs> All right. Guess I just kind of have this now. I I don't know. Is there just another room in here somewhere? Renovate. Is this where I buy door? Ornament, tables, lamps, rugs, windows, doors. Hardwood door. This must be how I get more rooms then, right? House expansion permit. Um... How do I do this, then? Does that give me another room? It should give me another room. Betcha it will. Just need a door. Please. Hardwood door. That'll be nice and simple. Although, again, I need money for that. Also, treasure hunting. Magnifying glass. Oh, sweet. I can just... Yikes! I just wanted to get half a stack of my iron, and it went crash. Okay. Thanks, game. No worries, though. I'll boot this up nice and quick. I lost a ton of progress. <sighs> like, if it kicks me back to the last time I saved, that might just be the end of this stream, because, like... Jeez, I don't know if I want to do that again. That might be the end of that world. I know it's a little pathetic, but also you don't understand how frustrating losing progress is. Because then you have to try and recreate what you did. I you can you can use that loss of progress to do better than what you did, or you can end up doing worse. You can end up forgetting what you meant to do and. Oh, all that. Okay, cool. I'm like, right in here, so that's good. Thank you, and then Pumatic Horn? Ah, uh, hello. So don't take a half a stack out of the Pumatic Horn, is the new lesson we learned today. Magnifying Glass, thank you so much. Glad you could join. Um, actually, you know what? While I'm here, let's make Pitchfork and get started on my next project. <laughs> I'm gonna basically give myself a huge lawn. Uh, so first, actually, let's Pitchfork out the area we want. Let's go to these lampposts. That's two in the expansion of this direction, and then we can go to three this way. I mean, I don't know. Mossy turf, thank you. This is what I want. So, tell me what you want. What you yeah, just to make it a good square, we'll go out to here. Alright, and then however much turf we pick up is how, however much mossy turf we need to dig up from the outsides of the uh, town. Then we've got all this lawn for farming and such. Oh, you know what? Before I get dumb, because I know there's not really a spring season, but it can still- lightning can still happen anyway, 
Let's go ahead and get that lightning rod out right now. Let's place it right here. There we go. Glad to have you. Um, yeah, I need this pitchfork on me, so. Okay, so. Here's the deal. We need, then, to dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, <sighs> okay, just guess I'm gonna have to wait here for a second. <laughs> Oh, it is now the crappy season. Eight, nine, ten. Ugh, jeez Louise. Let's go get my piff hat. Made exactly for this specific season. Come here. Get on. Thank you. Okay. I just realized, too, I can just do this right now. And see how much more I still need. Plus, this will free up my inventory, so... Uh, let's go ahead and dig. Dig. And dig. doesn't look right to me for some reason. Okay, whatever. I believe that's right. Place ground right all around here. Yeah, I can hear that thunder, so good thing I got the lightning down already. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. That turned out to look quite nice. Ah, right, great, of course. I don't even need my pith hat. Six, seven, ten, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Here we are. Oh. Can you please place ground? There you go. Jeez, Wheeler. Where did those flowers come from? I mean, I'm not complaining, because I'm a little hungry, actually. So, the butterflies can help. But I'm just saying, where? Did they just decide to grow there? That's cool. Oh my god, I'm so fast. I, like, run past the butterflies. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey there, buddy. 
Yeah, that's right. You better run away. Thank you for paying me. Honestly, yeah, I'll keep these two flowers around. Those are fantastic. Okay. There we go. Now I've got all this land for planting berry bushes and anything I want, really. But first order of business will definitely be the berry bushes. <laughs> Okay, come on, at the very least. Oh no, actually, you know what? I'm good. I'll pass. Hey there, dude. Mind if I take these? Kinda want them. So I'm gonna take them with or without permission. Ow. Thanks, Shovel, for breaking at such an opportune time. Man, I really do love Hamlet, like, so much more than Shipwrecked. Shipwrecked was just obnoxious to me, but... Hamlet feels right. Hamlet feels good. Okay, we will start the berry bushes going this way from here. Like that. Downward. Unfortunately, I only have four. But... Over time, that's going to build up quite nicely anyway, so. Isn't there supposed to be, like, rain sound for when it rains? I mean, whatever. Guess it's not, you know, annoying me now. Oh, you know what? Thank you. I've reminded myself. Ah, there's the rain. I need to do that, yeah. Um, did we take the shears out? Let's see. Now, where do we shear? We shear here. Um, we shear here. We shear here. We shear somewhere down there, I think. Okay. Oh my god, my lightning rod just saved my life. Thank you so much. My goodness, this rain is certainly pouring down hard. Oh, like nobody's business here. God. That lightning nearly struck me. Okay. Mm. There's one more area that might have some shearable uh, turf. We'll go check that out. Right over here. And it most certainly does, so thank you. I appreciate it. Kinda need my iron, so. Thank you, iron, for being a willing participant in this survey. Okay, so, pumatic, uh, hold on, iron into the pumatic horn, then pumatic horn into the navy gadget, navy gadget goes there, boom, clippings, shears, nice. Okay.
Not looking to cause any trouble here, officer. Okay, let's go find all of our nerd pigs. Here's one. Oh, there's another one up here. Didn't even know you were here. Thank you, my good sir. Oh, and one right here. Boom, easy money. Now, where's the hedge girl? Hedge, hedge thing. The one that likes clippings. She's not old. She's like a, a young perky pig, you know? With the hair all done up. Oh, you're not the one. Where is she? I know I have one, like, somewhere around here, I think. I hope. Pay me for the poop. Ah, here she is. Mmm, yeah, here's the one. Oh, yeah, give me those oinks. Thank you so much. Just short of another 50. But that's okay, because I'm going to be spending 10 of it right away. In this house of mine. Because I need to buy a door, I think. So. Hardwood door. Can't put it there, because there's a window there. Let's put it here. I like this. Oh, that's so nice! Oh my god! I've got an entire another room here! I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for! <laughs> but... Hey, I'll take that! I will most certainly take that. Oh, it's gonna cost me a fortune to redecorate this place, though. Unless if I want to keep the old rustic look. Eh, redecorating can come at a later time. There is an apocalypse to worry about here, so. Is that the... Yeah, that's the bird, all right. Let's go buy some food, because I'm kind of hungry, and I don't really want to go get food. Although, I, instead of buying food outright, I could buy my good old... Yeah, 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 yeah. Buy a drumstick and buy, like, the cheapest freaking filler. A vegetable. A vegetable. I meant to say available. There you go. And boom, you got yourself some meatballs. Just like that. I, I do kind of wonder what's in here, because I forget what you sell. Just seeds, right? Maybe I should consider getting, like, a couple of advanced farms. Those seem really nice in a Hamlet world. Hello, big bird thing. Alright, give me some food. Now that I have that, again, gas mask, kind of important. So, pig skin, cloth, peacock plume. Alright, just need the peacock plume. What else should I focus on then while I'm out and about? Maybe I need to get myself a lantern, I think. I think a lantern is important so I can go exploring into those ruin areas and actually get myself some useful materials. So let's go stop by the supply store. No lantern for sale, really. Guess I'll buy the cloth. That's a backpack, sir. Fine, I'll take the axe. Bug net. Please, please. Alright. They can sell me out of a house and home here. What if I just go like that? There you go. Oh, snap! You just plopped down, huh? 
No, 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 no. No, thank you, Birdman. I'm quite happy with my current living conditions. No! Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, that's, 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 that's bad news. Oh, that's bad news right there. Oh. Can I hammer? Two? Chisel? Two? Okay. I'll take this thing, I guess. The stone egg. Weather shrub, huh? Thick weather shrub. Oh. A couple of electrical doodads. Some boards. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, cloth, not that important. Combat starting to go bad. Okay. Got some priority going on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So let's make sure this is the proper orientation. Jeez Louise. Where am I? I think this is proper orientation. Yeah, there we go. Good, 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 good. Thick weathered truck. So now I'm just kind of stranded on this other island. You're supposed to go through the cave system to get out. Oh, hello, Regal Scepter. You're important, so I'll take you. You're supposed to go through the cave system, as I was saying, in, uh, in order to get off this island. But I don't have a light source. I have a torch. I could make a torch. I guess I'm gonna have to make a torch to get out of here. I did not handle that situation intelligently at all, so... Kinda deserve this. Stone egg. Guess I'll put it by the fire. See if the uh, if it makes any sort of progress. Pretty sure this is for like the Chester equivalent of Hamlet. So, sure, I'll keep this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a lot of these characters would be really cool and don't starve together, like Wheeler and Wagstaff. They kind of have their own little quirks about them that would make them kind of work in a don't starve together world. Ooh, wow. Apparently that guy's getting too hot. Or maybe he's supposed to get that hot. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to... Not supposed to, but I don't think you're allowed to mess up the egg. But maybe you are. I'm not an expert on this, okay? So... Oh! Plugged sinkhole. You must be my way out of here. Well. No better time to leave than now. Just mine this last boulder for whatever uh, rocks I can get, since this is a pretty good place to get materials. Let's enter. So. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to kind of like run and dodge. Oh, uh, I want these light bulbs so bad, but oh, there's nothing even in here. Run around, enter this door. Enter the door! Thank you. Didn't realize I'd have to scream at you. When was the last time I ate? Oh no! Please do not say that to me because I will pant. Um, down here? Nope. Okay. 
No. I do like the the kind of like room layouts and map system they have in Hamlet here. It's it's quite lovely. Now if only I could mine or gather any of this stuff, but I cannot because Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, at least I didn't die, so. I'm about to, though, if I don't get out of here soon. Huh. That was easier than I thought. It did cost me some of my iron. But... Oh! Oh! And out I am! That's something, I guess. Also... Ah! Good thing I brought the pith hat with me. Overall, that wasn't too terrible, actually, and I got the Regal Scepter out of it, which is, uh, something nice indeed. <laughs> Peacock! I need you, please, 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 just, like, go to sleep or something, or get trapped, or, I don't know, do something stupid. I need you so badly, please. Oh, I'm so close to being able to catch you. If I was just slightly faster. Where even did it go? What is it doing? Oh, it's it was trying to get that food, but then it went got scared by me. Oh god, it's it's doomed now, huh? Don't know where it ended up. Alright, well, that's my peacock gone. Oh, never mind. There it is. Alright, yeah, let's just get home. Okay? <laughs> I think I've had enough stress for one day. It's been one week since you looked at me. God, sorry, I just can never get that out of my head now. Alright, Regal Scepter. Nice. Oh my god, please don't ever do that again, game. I don't want to have a hard attack. Go ahead and jam this Regal Scepter. Oh, I don't know actually why I came in here. It doesn't go in... Like, I can just put it on the shelf. There we go. <sighs> Alright. Uh, pot. Teach me something I don't know. Man, I wish it would. Please. Something good for like four oinks, please. Oh, it's... Uh, I guess I can make like... One. Yeah? I'm sure this will make bacon and eggs. Almost positive this will make bacon and eggs. If it doesn't, it's at least gonna make meatballs. Okay, uh, new weapon time. This bad boy. Alright, it made meatballs. Not the worst thing in the world. Fire pit, you can go right here in the corner. Just, just for cooking foods. 
you special little devil. And, since I have you... Might as well use you to just warm up this stone egg. Don't know how warm the egg needs to be. Like, that warm? <laughs> what do I need? I need to get those peacock plumes for sure. I also kind of need food. Where's the peacock? Snakeskin jacket. Stay dry and leathery. Ugh. Oh yeah. The other ingredients I already have, so. Peacock plume. That's all I need. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Egg. Let us go on our fine adventure then. Uh, actually, I think I will spend today catching butterflies and increasing my flower supply. Because believe it or not, having butterflies around is actually really nice. If I'm ever in an emergency food situation, I'm sure I can go borrow from my pig friends, the farmers. Thank you. Come on now, butterflies. Don't be shy. Wheeler just wants to plant you, because for some reason that's how butterflies work. Hi, Meta. Did the, the finale finish? The THP finale. Can I see the kids again? No, no you can't. Look, I thought we agreed on this. I get to keep the kids, the house, the car, the money, everything. Uh, and you just leave. It's been over for like an hour. Ah, uh, my bad. I just have a terrible sense of time, I guess. Let's pick these. These are in the way. We can sell these to the flower ladies. These, uh, flowers look quite nice, actually. Just the way they're all planted in a straight line. Hey! Someone pay me! I just picked up your poop! Thank you, slave. <laughs> oh! Well, wasn't that a little stupid of me? Oh well. Guess it won't kill me to be missing one flower. There we go. Now we've got ourselves a bit more of a reliable food source. Let's look for flower lady. Hello, flower lady. You want... Nope, you only like one per day, huh? Do I have another one? Nearby? Here you are. Thank you. Appreciate it. There we go. Oh, another. Don't mind if I... Oh my god, I think I almost killed the 
pig man. Well, I wouldn't have killed him, but I certainly would have gotten the entire town alarmed. Which is no good. Maybe I should go out and kill those pigs that are all angry at me. Or I could just leave them angry at me. I don't care. Uh, right. I should get that feather. I keep saying to myself I'll get the feather, but... Never end up getting the feather. Thank you, my dude. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. Come on, butterfly. Thank you. I am very hungry. Tea tree, tea tree, tea tree. I'm just checking for peculiar ones. I know I had a couple of them out here, right? Peculiar tea tree. There we go. Let's actually use this thing. Aha! Found something. Very good, Wheeler. What'd you find? And it's just an idol. Well, could be worse, I suppose. So, Actually, I don't think it could be, so... Whatever. <laughs> Found something again. That's quite lucky. Two in a row. And it's a trinket of some sort. Okay. Hmm. Peculiar? Are you peculiar? Dude, come on. Chill out. There's no need for such violence. Put on the pith hat. Peculiar? No, you're just normal. There's just a blue tint to you that confuses. Yeah, right down here I'll be able to at least turn in one of these bad boys. Right away. Swinesbury Academy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, good sir. Much appreciated. Oh my god, please. I don't want to have a seizure anymore. And by a seizure, I mean I just don't want to get scared anymore. Oh, actually, I was keeping my oinks in here for easier access for spending. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and head in here then. And, uh, we'll put some logs on the fire and go ahead and drop my stone egg here. Do -do 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 I could make like a cork cap or a miner hat, but I don't really like having headgear for exploring. I really like the lantern. I like having my football helmet on at all times for my protective needs. Moggles. Excuse me, moggles. Owl. See, if I can get a cowl, oh boy, that would be pretty cool. Sonar, huh? Old pan, that's kind of dumb and useless. Um, all this requires string and sucks. Bug be gone. <sighs> a lot of this is just hard to get in a Hamlet world. Also, just not very necessary. Rowboat. Cork bowl canoe, cargo boat. Let's make a cork bowl canoe, actually. You know what? Because I have enough cork. Let's make it. Hmm. There we go. Now we can go into the water if so needed. Snakeskin sail? Oh my god. Let's make one of those, actually. Uh oh. 
Move the egg. It's hot. Alright. Sail, we'll just keep you there. Since, uh, yeah, we don't really have a boat to put you on. But no, your time will come. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's... Flying rats. This should be exciting. Rats? Aren't they bats, though? Jewels. You like jewels? Who's the guy who likes not jewels? Who's the guy who likes... Oh, you like the trinkets. No. This apparently does not count. Oh, dear lord! Where are my pig guards? There are so many. Kill! Yes! Fight! Ooh. That's right. Kill for my entertainment! Actually, kill for my survival, please. Did lightning just strike the pig or the flying bat creature? Alright, well, until I figure out a use for this, you're gonna go there, because I don't want to waste the inventory space holding you. Jesus. Alright, get out of here. Come on. Come on, dude. You know you don't want to do this. I know you don't want to do this. So let's just not do Did you seriously just eat that pig skin? Like, why? Dude, come on. It's, it's like cannibalism at this point. It's honestly sickening how you would do that. How you could possibly even do that. Still seems like Hamlet's got a quite quite a few bugs it's got to work out here. Like the rain just goes silent sometimes. It's very quiet now. <laughs> Pay me. Thank you. I'm going to use this money to buy my next meal. Alright. Cheap meat. And then you need to buy... Sorry, lady. Cheap filler. Cheap filler. Jeez, some meats, man. Cheap filler. Don't pick up the poop. Just get out the... Go. Get... Get out the... Get it. Oh. Okay. Poop. Back here. Door. Out. Okay. Now I can go in here. Put my two pomegranates, my banana, and my drumstick in, and that is food. And you know what? It may seem like a bit of a weird spot, but this is where I'm going to call this one. Right after I eat these good old meatballs. Thanks for the few people who joined me, even if you didn't stay for very long. I appreciate any bit of conversation I can get. This was actually quite enjoyable. I know I don't seem maybe all that high-spirited, but trust me, I like this. So yeah. See you guys, uh, later. Oh boy. Gotta figure out how to actually get the stream ended. Two seconds. Hold on. Working on it. Alright, there we go.